So Mars 2020 Perseverance rover is landing today for in UK time at about 8.30 in the evening. This mission is totally exciting. Scientists like myself are really excited about getting samples back to Earth because we can do so much more analysis. Jezero Crater was one of four shortlisted areas that could have been chosen for the Mars 2020 landing. And Jezero Crater was picked on the basis of the fact that it has some very interesting geology. I was invited to create this artwork for the UK Space Agency to sort of inspire the public um, about Mars and all the amazing science that's going on to, to find out more about it. So our understanding of Mars is relatively limited compared to our understanding of the Earth, but we, we do have a lot of information on Earth rocks. And so if we assume that conditions on Mars in its early history were the same as conditions on Earth in its early history, we can use Earth's record to guide us in sample selection on Mars. You'd be surprised how much information and how much data can be extracted from just a few grams of rock. You know, it's our responsibility to collect these samples. These are going to be the most expensive samples ever collected. And so we want to prepare as best we can for future generations that are going to analyse those samples and try and work out some of the biggest questions in the solar system currently. It's the most complicated mission that NASA has ever sent to the Red Planet. Bringing samples back from Mars is an international venture, not only because it's quite difficult to do, but because the samples are the property of humanity. Rover operations are very, very complicated. They involve a lot of people, scientists and engineers interacting online. When Perseverance lands today, we're going to have seven minutes of terror when we don't get any signal back from the spacecraft as it's hurtling through Mars's atmosphere. We've got every confidence, though, in our colleagues at NASA that they've designed everything as safely and securely so that the rover lands safely on Mars. I think they know exactly what they're doing. They've got it completely controlled. We have a whole set of systems trying to work out exactly how Perseverance is going to land. The samples that the Mars 2020 rover is going to collect, we think, might come back to Earth in about 2031. And so if you're watching this uh, now um, as a young person, there is a very good chance that in 10 years or 15 years or 20 years, maybe if you've studied geology or chemistry or biology, gone to university, become an expert, that you could well be studying those rocks yourself. You could be one of the researchers as a PhD student or a postdoctoral researcher who actually gets to analyse those rocks. It's not going to be me. Um, it's going to be one of you doing that. And I think that's hugely exciting.